Fletcher doing the ruck work there. Cook around the body. Waterhouse again. Still going. That's a more positive movement forward. Again, Shawble getting fist to the ball. Brown. Handball inboard. McPhee, the youngster, also playing his first match. Oh, I thought he was a bit lucky to get that one. Andrew Ship, it was a beautiful pass coming in from Adam McPhee. Probably should have taken the mark. And in the end, he received the free kick for over the shoulder. No pressure or anything on him. Oh, that's oh, a shocker off the But boot. it might be through. It is. First goal. So we're waiting for the throw in in the forward pocket. Stafford trying to get it down. Swass. Fuster. Well, they've had the ball inside 50, I think, 13 times so far. Sydney only four, Hutto, so the Fremantle have certainly had their, uh, their opportunities to score. Low pass. And Swass. Again, he's got a loose man in Bolton, but he's got now, a kick, now, kick now he's got the square where Jason got Ball is. Well, he does go for that kick. In fact, he might even go longer than that. And sends it through. That might bring them to life. You are just a mine of information, aren't you, Jason? Read that in the footy program. Always up to date. Matthews overruns it. So does Creswell. Jones doesn't handles it well. Hazelby took too long. Yeah, did take. And he's been pinged. And it could have been 50. Probably a good decision that it wasn't. But it was just kicked away just after the decision was made. Matthews. Not much on, but setting it up into the space. Now, something that Goods or Stafford through each week and go back into the defence and help out Andrew Dunkley. And he's done it okay there, he's put it through. You look at the number of swans for running to congratulate. Ben Matthews with the footy. Looking, looking, looking. In the end settles on the uh, half-back flank and a couple of players, one of them uh, was Saddington but he didn't take it. Brown kicks it inside, Matthews backs himself after taking the mark. It was as if he had someone to release the ball to on the wing, but in actual fact there was more Dockers there than Swans. Ball did really well to win the footy, but his release wasn't too good. Another high tackle, and a man who often gets high tackles, Adrian Fletcher, takes it away. Black to full forward. Cook's got position here, and he stood strong. Quite a strong grab there. He makes no mistake, so the Dockers are back in front of the SCG. So you've got to make the most of the opportunities when they present themselves. Dunkley was the target, Jones ganged up over the top, another chance, McPhee, beautiful smother from Maxfield, Fletcher usually uses it well, and this looks to be on target, it is, another goal to the Dockers. McPhee takes the mark from the kick in, he's played on, find the hand pass, playing with confidence, McManus, wobbly kick ball in good position, he looks to be by far the... Uh, Best Swans player at the moment, Paul. He's attracting the footy and he's confident. The rest of them are really struggling. Needs some magic from Goods. A handball for Creswell. Hasn't got much in support. He did it on his own and did it so well. Great goal. O'Loughlin. Lewis. Duckley. A positive movement forward, although there was nowhere to go. From where he went, there was nowhere to go anyway. Easy mark in the end for Fuster. That's a great bit of running from Dale Lewis. But at least it's giving them some spark. And he always looks like he's got some time. Barry has to get onto his left. So he goes out wide. Shawbel. Can run the arc and set it up. Goods was the target, but it went further than that. And in the end, it was magnificent delivery. I'm not sure if Creswell was the initial target or not, but it matters little. Or possibly kick his second off the quarter. He has. So the Swans are in front. As a, as a player, Jason, on a day like this where the crowd's not huge and you're playing a team that both struggling, do you find it harder to get inspired? I don't think you find it hard to get inspired. It's just a matter of you realise that it doesn't matter whether the crowd's involved or not or whether the skill level's up. It's all about working your way to getting the four points. Now, both teams realise it's four points up for grabs. It's just a matter of who can rise to the challenge and, and create enough opportunities to get the score on the board because it's not going to be a high-scoring game. Chris lining up for goal. Deep into the square. Stafford. Oh, he had the chance oh. to spoil that, and he didn't. And Longmuir makes him pay. Ball 
just couldn't get the decisive tap. Norwich freeing up Fletcher, who does a magnificent job of releasing the ball when he's in tight. Black just banged it onto the boot, but it was okay. Found Brown, laid it off quickly. Prescott aligned himself with a Waterhouse lead. Late on the scene, taking the mark. This is a bit first. Had a couple of options. The sun getting in the eyes of Maxfield. The kick wasn't great anyway. Jones ran back onto it. Maxfield may have hung onto him. No. Again, he had the trouble of the left side that he wanted to get onto. Goods just dribbling along the boundary. It's a great kick at the end. Saddington on the over. Stoic by himself in the pocket. And just that's, yep. He's got it okay. Stafford's back in the square. He went shorter for Lewis. He ran a long way. He ran a long way and hard, Dale Lewis, to run into space. He started that lead on the wing. Important kick for the Swans. Looked pretty good off the boot. Great kick from Dale Lewis. What a game he's played. It's a positive sign that he was taking on the response. Yeah. Yep. The crowd finding a bit of voice early in this third quarter. The Swans up by eight. And just putting a bit of pressure on the Dockers. Gee, you'd almost pay that to Fletcher, wouldn't it? Not quite. Black. Norwich under pressure. Williams is normally a terrific tackler. That time they got loose and they kept the ball moving. Once again, Fletcher involved. McManus through centre half forward. Lee Brown. Lee Brown from outside 50 and take a mighty kick from there. It looks terrific off the boot. Great kick. It's just a matter of who can gain a slight ascendancy over the other. Fletcher again involved. Black. A switch of play. Shell. Hands to it. Now Williams has got some time. Off the left, he confidently kicked the ball and kicked it very well. Out to half forward. Low pass in from Fosdyke. Stafford must be a high tackle, it is. Greg Stafford. Looked pretty good off the boot. It comes back beautifully. Magnificent kick. 6.42 to 5.434. So the Swans again just edging in front. Can the Dockers respond? Out of the middle, Bolton got them moving. O'Loughlin behind, Goods got the kind bounce, came through, terrific releasing handball. Creswell didn't sit for him all that well immediately, had Nix leading into a pocket, went shorter for Fosdock. This is Nix now with the chance, wanted to get the handball clear out the crouch. Little look away around the body into the square, O'Loughlin, let it go, and it's through. McPhee. Gee, they're getting themselves in trouble down back, the Doggers. Certainly using it a lot, aren't they, at the moment? Too much. Determined not to give it up. Fuster strolls away and into attack. Waterhouse. Shell, can he make the most of this chance? Surely he can, he can. So the Dockers get one back before three-quarter time. Margin back to ten points, though, and the Dockers could get another couple. There's time for them before... Three-quarter time, or who knows what might happen. Fosdyke out of the middle, long and strong. It might be downfield here. Or is it going to come back the no, other it's way? downfield. And the fend-off after the kick. Matthew Nix kicked a great goal before, and now he's got two. McPherson by himself. Now, will he turn around and look for Stafford, who's leading at centre-half forward? He does. Sets it up for the big man. Fuster was out of position. Stafford didn't take the mark. Got it to ground, but that's all. Gee, the Dockers have done well to get out of that one unscathed. He may have been unlucky not to get a free, yep. free oh, kick. Greg Stafford. Stafford. They're not quite unscathed just yet, though. Creswell. And Nix tumbles into the mark. Yeah, earlier on, when Greg Stafford looked like he was in the box seat for the mark, it was Sean McManus who just... Uh, he took his eyes off the ball. He backed into Stafford with the hips and just took him out of the contest. He did it pretty subtly, but it was uh, certainly an infringement that could have been rewarded. Rodney thinks Dale Lewis... He's brought him back on, Hutto. Thanks, Mark. I think that was translated as Dale Lewis is back on the ground. So siren sounding, and this makes it all the more important, the kick for Matthew Nix. It's a good kick, and it clears the pack. Ball winning the tap. Fletcher. And now they're away. Longmuir. That's an mark. excellent strong mark in front, so certainly giving them something that Waterhouse needs to lead here. He's just staying in the square. Now he's gone. Now Under he's leading 45. into the space. Good looking kick. 
good. And a good strong mark, so well called. Has to kick it. It's a little bit away to the right, but Got he it. likes it. It's a goal. 9-9 nine, nine to 7-4. Get it out of the middle through Hazelby. Lee Brown lurking again at centre half forward presented. Longmuir, Troy Longmuir, oh. got his head removed. Free kick. One kick. Well, that looked pretty good off the boot. He's done it. It's under a two goal ball game, and we've only been going a couple of minutes in this last term. Plenty for the Swans to think about. Swanson, O'Loughlin, and Creswell in at the middle back. In the middle at the bounce, a long side ball. But Hazelby, who won the last one out of the middle, does it again. It wasn't quite as efficient from the Swans. Barry, from the Yadokas, I should have said. Barry, kick. lovely kick. McPherson. Bombs it into a, well, a good looking kick in the end. There were Swans everywhere. Creswell had floated down. Guides it back through. Important goal for the Swans. Dockers bearing down on goal here. Oh, big chance. Easy chance. And Hazelby kicks it. They sense they're right in it. Jason Ball with a big leap over the top. Just couldn't hang on to it. Good's got the tap for the good of Lewis, but Hazelby oh, made it. He's brilliant. Up. And the layoff was terrific. Young McPhee, well done. He's kicked the goal. Goods in front of Longmuir, who does well, Longmuir, read it nicely. Gets them moving, the centre half forward, Toya, was over the ball, and uh, the Swans in the end were a bit more aggressive. Maxfield on the release, nothing but talk. Well-shaped kick in the end to get it to centre half forward. Good little give from O'Loughlin. McPherson knew that he could get into space, he Beautiful could find Swans, who thought about strolling on and strolling in, but he went back. Absolute crucial goal for the Swans. And Wayne Squas does not let them down. Sends it straight through. And don't forget the latest on AFL is always available with uh, just a click of the mouse, i7sport.com.au. This game well and truly still alive. Lewis, Maxfield, always had the man running past in support. Nicks looped it over for Fosdyke. Could have kept on running, but he saw the lead from the big man. And he's had a warm-up. He's had the practice swing. Now he can go back and have another crack at it, Greg Stafford. It's looked good up forward today, Greg Stafford. Meantime, though, all interest in Greg Stafford. And that looks better. No question about that one. Only seconds remaining. He doesn't look happy now, but he will be when the bell goes because the Swans have returned to the winner's list after five losses. And so they're back in the mix. Troy Cook playing on. That's the last hurrah. The Swans have won a match. And unfortunately the Fremantle Dockers have lost their ninth in a row.